I'm Magenta Harley and you're watching theprotocol.tv. What we're doing is just allowing people to trade directly with each other in a way they haven't been able to do it before. And I don't know what that's going to look like, but it's exciting to think about how people could use it. Open Bazaar is a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. It allows users to buy and sell goods and services directly to one another without the need to pay a third-party company such as eBay or Alibaba. Is this the beginning of truly free and fair trade? This is Sam Patterson of Open Bazaar. The internet has decentralized communications with people to you know, an amazing level. Bitcoin is, is starting to do the same thing with our money. But that doesn't really happen with trade right now online. What we're doing is just allowing people to trade directly with each other in a way they haven't been able to do it before. And I don't know what that's going to look like, but it's exciting to think about how people could use it. The way Open Bazaar works is that everyone will download a program, run it on their computer, and that makes you a node in a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, network. You will either be a merchant selling products or services, a buyer looking to purchase products or services, a notary, which is someone who facilitates trade on the network, and then an arbiter, which is someone who can resolve disputes between people. And anyone who runs a node can be any number of those different positions. It's going to have a reputation and rating system so that other people can keep other people honest. There's no fees in the process. Uh, the seller and buyer have not paid anything except for the terms of the contract itself. And of course, there's not censorship of that product as well. The trade has been done directly between the two parties involved. We are not trying to create the next Silk Road. I think there's a lot of controversy, a lot of questions around why is this product needed. And this, the simplest answer is just to say that we want to empower people to do trade online as they see fit. We trust individuals to, to have the power to do that. Some people will, will do things that we would not agree with, but most people are going to use it in ways that are beneficial to themselves and their communities. And we've seen that already with the other things I talked about earlier, which are the internet, broadly speaking, Bitcoin specifically, certainly the internet has enabled people to do things that are distasteful, but the majority of the uses are really empowering people to facilitate uh, their own ends, basically. So how that's going to be used is a bit of a question we don't know, but we want to give people the ability to do it, which doesn't exist at all right now. I think Open Bazaar fits into a a larger piece of the puzzle for how things like the internet and Bitcoin are allowing us to exchange information about value with each other. Just attaching prices to all the information around us and putting it on this public network that anyone can access could unleash a huge amount of economic activity that right now people just don't have access to. And by introducing the communications that the internet brings, uh, transfer of value that Bitcoin brings, and then hopefully a transfer of knowledge about the value of products that Open Bazaar will bring, we can integrate so many more people into you know, the global economy than we could before. I'd just like to let people know that Open Bazaar is going into beta at the end of August, and we really want people to come out and test it. If this is going to be successful, it's going to be as big a deal as we hope it's going to be. We need people from the community to come in and tell us what works, what doesn't work, how it should improve, and to use it. We want a lot of people to come on there and start listing any, any products and services they want and uh, give us feedback on how it works. My name is Sam Patterson from the Open Bazaar Project, and you're watching theprotocol.tv. Make sure you subscribe to our newsletter to get the hash delivered to your email. And subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to know about new videos on theprotocol.tv.